I just wanted to um, do an updated video on terminating employees, annual leave payout and setting final pay. Um, so this is the 2025 updated version. Last time I did a video was back in 2020 um, and the interface of Xero has changed quite a lot since then. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, let's go to payroll and then pay employees. Uh, let's use this draft pay run that's here in our demo file and it's James Lebron that we want to terminate. Alright, so just uh, make sure all the employees details are correct as per the last fortnight or week that they worked. Um, and what we want to do is go right down the bottom to set as final pay. Uh, check the date and we want the reason. And this is just to determine um, the correct taxing on the, um, on the pay run because uh, sometimes they can have a significant amount of annual leave. Um, so we just want to select this and um, yeah, take it from an example pay period um, or you can enter the average earnings. Alright, so... Uh, we can see, this is a great example because we can see that his annual leave has not been put up here. Alright, um, so that hasn't worked correctly. So we just want to go into his pay employee file. And go to the leave tab. And we just want to click on um, the numbers here under annual leave. And we want to make sure that his annual leave is set as paid out. While we're here, let's make sure sick leave is set as not paid out. That is correct. Because um, in Australia, um, most of the time, uh, sick leave is not paid out um, if someone leaves. Um, there are some circumstances or special industries where or you might have made an agreement with your employees to pay it out um, but normally that's not paid out all right so let's go now that now that that's set as paid out uh, let's go back to um, the pay run all right now we may need to delete this and restart it um, yeah because that hasn't gone through Right, so instead of deleting the whole pay run, uh, we can just go reset pay slip. All right, and by doing that, that's reset it and that has input the annual leave final pay line in there. <clears throat> so you can see that that um, is a little bit higher than what it said in his file, um, but that's because he's earned annual leave on um, on that fortnight that he's worked so on that 76 hours he's earned annual leave um, which is added to his final pay all right so we're just going to click save all right now close um, you obviously could have gone save and next if you want to go through all the other employees that you've got in that pay run and once you've done everything um, obviously we post the pay run and then you would go file um, or download your ABA and email pay slips out. So just process, process it as you normally would. All right, so let's just go back to employees and make sure that this has actually terminated his employment. Uh, so you can see here under current employees, he's not there anymore. Um, he is in fact in the past. Um, so that has worked correctly. Um, if you do want to terminate an employee who doesn't need annual leave payout, they haven't worked any hours and they don't need um, paying at all, uh, what you want to do is just click on their name, <clears throat> go to employment, and right down in the left hand side here, you click on end employment, select the day they last worked, the reason, and go end employment. All right, so that's um, a yeah, simple way to end their employment uh, if you don't need to pay them anything. Uh, so I always like to go back and check and make sure that that has actually worked. 
Uh, so as you can see, they're not undercurrent and they are now in the past. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can drop them below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer anything. And if you've got any suggestions of future videos um, or you're stuck on anything and you want me to do a demo, let me know as well. Um, of course, if you're loving what you see, please subscribe to our videos.